Happy Wednesday. Good afternoon. Hope you're all having a great day. It's Mike here to talk some independent wrestling on Indeed with my awesome co-host. We're back. Uh, he's back. I was here, but like he, he something might have happened last week. There was like some thing going on where like a bunch of people were all in the same city and he was there. So Reg, welcome back. How was your week? Mike, if it wasn't for this great show that we have called Indeed, I wouldn't know what day it was. I wouldn't know what time it was. I wouldn't know what where we were in the universe. I've been in a blur for the last week, and I left for Philadelphia last Wednesday at 5.30 p.m., and I got back at 10.30 p.m. last night. So I don't know anything that's happened in the world. I don't know what this is. I don't know who you are. This could all be AI. This isn't really Righteous Reg. This is just a, a hologram at this point. I sent somebody I to do my job. I don't even look the same as when you were here last. I follow That's what I'm I, saying. I don't, this could be Mike, but this also could be just some dude. I don't know. Yeah, you know, like I uh, got, in a, got in a little fight with a lawnmower. I, you know, had to. I had to. I had to get the. I had to get the. Uh, I had to get the poodle off of my head. Oh damn! I forgot we were. We almost did a bit. I, we almost did a bit. I was gonna do it, and then I was like, I would have died. I really need to get the haircut. I can't. But uh, yeah, I. <laughs> If I had waited one more day to get a haircut, because mm -hmm. I got it like this afternoon. Um, if I had waited one more day to get a haircut, my wife would have definitely uh, styled my hair like Terrence, uh, like Terrence <laughs> Howard in, in the new interview that came out. I was, I was going to what do is it. Lion's mane. Oh my god, he looks like my nana. He does. He does definitely for I, the the seventies pair faucet look. I showed my barber and I was like, you know, I was going to I was going to do this on a podcast like this <laughs> afternoon if uh, if I didn't if, if I didn't get this appointment today. It was almost over for you, dude. So, so, so funny. But yeah, just came back from Philadelphia. And uh, this is the Indeed podcast, uh, the most famous independent wrestling promotion of all time. I think Extreme Championship Wrestling plays a huge part in the reason that I love independent the reason that I love independent wrestling the way that I do is because of ECWs because of mm. everything they did because of the foundation that they laid so in Philadelphia I got to go to the world's famous ECW arena Mike it was like there's these moments that I have uh throughout these years going to WrestleMania this is my 12th one crazy enough and so um wow. I've had so many times where of the years I've like wanted to do things as a wrestling fan of the lore and all this. So I got to go inside the ECW arena. They had banners up. They had the whole nine, the 2300 arena is what it's now called. It was just a beautiful, beautiful day of reminiscing of being 12 years old and watching wrestling in this same, same building. Awesome, awesome stuff. Um, I got to check out uh, Joey Janela's Spring Break clusterfuck, Mike. Okay, look. I hadn't seen, look, I was off the internet, so I hadn't seen a lot going on. I walk into this building and the Punjabi prison's already set up. So I'm like, what's, uh, I start talking to Mouse, the photographer, shout out to Mouse. He, uh, you know, dad of a big, big win this week. And so yeah. I'm like, we're just looking at the structure, like something bad is going to happen. I think Mike and everybody was watching it. And I all think they had the same idea that something bad might happen here. How did you feel? Did you see the Punjabi prison match? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I had like when as soon Just as saying it is so look, funny. <laughs> as soon as the announcement for that match and the graphic for that match came out like a couple months ago, I I was like I don't care if it's head to head with anything. I have to like have two monitors. I have to see the Punjabi prison match. And it's <laughs> it, it like it was on a clusterfuck anyway, so like yep. I knew I'd just be watching regardless. I wanted to see the clusterfuck. Uh, the clusterfuck was great. The Punjabi prison, though, like Big Vin is a god for all the shit he manages to build. Mm -hmm. Like between, uh, you know, Cage of Death, their uh, their war games, um, or their sorry, their art of war games, mm -hmm. um, Cage, like all all of all the fuckery for all the deathmatch tournaments. But like the Punjabi prison, I think hat might be his like holy grail in terms of shit that he has put together. <laughs> 
and that thing was solid. Like Kevin Ku climbed up on that shit. Yo, when people started it, climbing like, it, I was like, yo, I don't know, I don't know, it might happen, it might happen, but it didn't happen. It stayed up there. Nope, nope. Big Big Vin is amazing. But um, the best part, Mike, you know, being at an independent wrestling show, being around independent wrestling promoters, and time. The best part was me thinking, how fast are they going to get this thing down? Because this is the first match, and we got to get right to it. We don't have time to be like, all right, everybody, uh, let's take a break. Because, one, the show started at midnight. Like, you got to get to it, get to it. And we're about to get to one of the most ridiculous matches of all time. We don't have time. But, again, Big Ben and crew got that mm -hmm. thing down so quickly. I was like, oh, wow, amazing. The whole night was great because it was capped off by – uh indeed friend of the show jay rose i got to watch it with jay rose and mouse and so we uh i can't get into the game that we made of the clusterfuck but um you could imagine three just imagine i'm not gonna lay it out for you but three black guys that are into pro wrestling and pro wrestling things and black wrestlers coming up just imagine like what we were talking about watching this match and so at one point jay rose is like Oh, there's going to be 80 guys in this. And I'm like, oh, that's a funny bit, J. Rose. You know, like, I've been smoking all day, Mike. I'm tired. It's very late. I'm 80, like, yeah, sure. 80 guys. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's funny, dude. They're like, you guys, J. Rose is playing a joke. And so, like, this match is happening, and it's going, and it's going. And then I'm like, wait, I don't think J. Rose was lying, Mike. I think he was – I I think this wasn't a bit. And then at the end, they're like, oh, there was 87 people in this. And I was like, wait, <laughs> what had happened here? Yeah, you start thinking about like all the people that had come through that match, and you're like, "Yeah, there, there's that. It's, it's a lot of people." But, like, <laughs> it was actually also, 80 people in there. <laughs> like the, the crazy thing is, it's an 87 person battle royal. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, but that also has like a that that also has like a pinfall element to it as well. Yeah. Like it, it's you know, it's basically an 87 person battle royal. That shit was so well ran. <laughs> it was. It's it like incredible. it didn't feel like uh it, it ended up almost 2 hours and it was a blast, dude. It just no, kept like it, there were so many different sections. They did the ECW tribute part and mm -hmm. Aja Kong's in here. Nick get like there's always like Microman like all these little certain elements that built onto the match. So it didn't feel like one match. It's like 20 different matches in one. It was it, it's like a uh it's like a pro wrestling opera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like a rock opera of wrestling. Again, you it, talk like, about Big Ben and putting like, together this these structures. Who put together this? Like whose brain was like, I'm gonna structure this thing? Uh so I believe uh I don't know I don't know everybody that had a hand in putting the match together, but I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure Speedball agented like you know, he was like there helping coordinate some stuff for a bit. That makes um, so much sense because think, he came out and was in there for 10 seconds. And I was like, that's the most speedball thing I've seen, I think. So that he, would make a lot more sense oh, as to oh, why he was. In oh, there. was he only in there for 10 seconds, though? <laughs> he might have been, he might have been in there twice. <laughs> See, this is amazing. He that makes been so much twice. more sense, Mike. I'm like, oh, yeah, of course, dude. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, that match is like just everything like it. How many times? How many times watching that match did you like stop and go, "I fucking love pro wrestling"? Um, out of the eighty-seven, at minimum, like twenty-three of like this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. But like throughout the whole thing, I was like, "You guys!" And just saw every at one point, uh, Nate Webb comes out and like everyone just stops the match and everybody just sings. Teenage and I'm like, dirtbag karaoke this night. Is, uh, yep. I, I love that. That that was one of the big moments. Where I was like, "Man, I love it here." Yep. Yep, this is amazing. Uh, man like the Reese and Viva Van and Fuego del Sol. Like, <clears throat> I love that. Like, that's it's a bit. That's one of the funniest, most amazing things I've. I've and you know, over a million people uh, have seen that clip to agree, probably. So, yes. uh, and that's again, like, not that's not you know some crazy spot or move or anything. Nah. It's, it's just the fun and magic of pro wrestling when you just let the cool shit happen and the creativity flow. And there was so much of that fun, like, okay, you guys, we're serious on the internet all the time. We're arguing. We're doing all kind of crazy stuff. All of that is out the window. We're having fun. Like, there's no no nothing. You might see Yoshihiku. You might see uh, uh, all the craziest things you've ever seen in your entire life in this match. We're just here having a good time. The crowd's into it. Wrestlers are into it. Perch 
is out there. Like it's just a lot of greatness happening, and mm-hmm. and uh, I was appreciative to be able to watch it with a great, uh, a bunch of great people and see the the nonsense that that was. Uh, I'm guessing uh, they got so close to a hundred. Like how's next year not like you just need 13 more people there was 13 more people in there i think in the crowd too if we were talking but you know time and stuff oh, you know? that that that's i have like that's a whole other thing you could talk about is like people who were out there as part of the match mm-hmm. that when they didn't have shit going on in the match the stuff they chose to do on the outside i mean you start randomly see people walking around I'm like wait when did you i didn't how did you uh, it was a bunch of like when did you get here but now you're saying and i'm like oh okay yeah like I know uh, where you were. <laughs> oh somebody yeah the amount of people are just like uh you know they just you know they uh, instead of laying in the corner it's like they just clear the ring and let everyone have their moment and like you know manders goes and sits front row and you know has a beer and just watches some wrestling for a bit that's what's fun too and it's like because yep. i at one point it's like well somebody's been manders has been gone for 30 minutes and then he'll slide and like where was he for 30 minutes on the outside so that actually uh that reminds me of an experience i had uh i didn't get to talk about this last week because we didn't have an episode but mm-hmm. uh, the saturday uh so two saturdays ago now mm-hmm. uh would have been the 30th of march uh, I went to Crossbody Pro Wrestling's uh, right. building, but it was actually for a Speedball Mike Bailey's Fightertainment show. Oh, yeah. And that actually, uh, that's something that was like a whole other wrestling experience for me because I don't, you know, if you've ever seen one of these shows on his Twitch streams, it's, uh, you know, it's very much, it's not wrestling, it's Fightertainment. Um, mm. for for very le- for you know for very uh for very clear and not at all legal reasons um uh, but yeah it's like so everything that is normally like this is the appropriate behavior to have at a wrestling show it's like actually this y- you can do this instead right so as the show being attached to Mike Bailey makes it extra funny too because he's such mm-hmm. a serious five star wrestler that like there's this other world where he's in also. Oh, that's the thing, though, like his 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 television, like, you know, professional matches and stuff are like, but then his his like his brainchild shows are just off the wall insanity. Uh, You know what? I'm I'm Mike Speedball, Mike Bailey. I'm tired of you. We were trying not to talk about you on every show. (laughs) It was like, maybe we'll just have a show where like he won't. We won't talk about how all of his amazing matches. And then he starts to have this great promotion that we like. So we have to talk about you. I see what you're doing, Mike. I see what you're doing and it's working and we're it's going to keep working because you're the greatest. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just it. Uh, 11 out of 10 human being too. Uh, Seriously. <laughs> for real though. Um, so good. It, I love him. It, Shout out to Mike. It was super cool being at the show though. And like, you know, as the show's going on, uh, the, the referees are just, uh, you know, other wrestlers that are on the show that aren't mm-hmm. working in that particular match. Uh, the, uh, you know, the, the ring announcer is just, you know, whoever's got a loud voice that happens to be like around for the night. Um, same with uh, there's like you, you've got one fixed camera. Uh, right. Like there, there's one hard cam and then, you know, like uh, so this they use some of Crossbody's uh, camera guys. So, totally. so they, they, they we, you know, there's some extra uh, extra roaming cam that wasn't, you know, normally there. But. Uh, and then as the rest, you know, or sorry, as the fighter tainers fight uh, finish their their uh, their fights. You know, they're encouraged to just go sit amongst the general public and like watch the rest of the show and uh, you know, or go hang out with Veda on commentary and just Mm -hmm. do spawn like random spontaneous commentary. So we get to the end of the show. And like the cool thing for me is there's this like whole row of people that are now out there because they've had their fights and the, (laughs) The main event of the show was Speedball Mike Bailey versus Crossbody Champion Mikey Jenkins. Oh, sweet. And amazing, amazing match. And just seeing this whole row of wrestlers, like, I want to watch wrestling with Sway Archer all the time. He is, <laughs> he is my favorite person to see react to wrestling because of, like, 
yeah, just everything is just so into it. I love it. Mm-hmm. It's, it was my favorite because it's just like just watching wrestlers enjoy wrestling was like or it's fighter trainers enjoy fighting was yeah it, it, ah, it's just it's just fun like it's something you don't because some see. of it, them mike they never get out of their own heads honestly like i love you guys y'all are the best but sometimes it's like all right dude like maybe just chill for one second sometimes they never chill for one second and i get it kayfabe brother forever i love you for it yeah i want you to also you know what i mean it's a it's, get, like i'm stuck between a rock and a hard place because i'm like maybe chill but i'm also like don't chill man keep that shit forever it it's <laughs> it's fun to know that like you know people are still fans of it when yes, they, you know that's it, how it, i feel really it's not it's, about fey fey but it's like i just want to know you're still having a good time yeah exactly but that was uh also speaking of people who had dope weeks um you know what uh one match with speedball at fighter attainment uh on wednesday last week but then he made so much gear for so many people last week. So, so I, 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 don't know, I, don't, I don't know if you had a chance to catch up with Sway at all uh, during the week. We were at Wally Mania at one point together, but he was like trying to help coordinate getting a bunch of friends in. So he was like constantly just like, oh, there's Sway. Like maybe. And then like he's gone over. Oh, I got to go there. I got to. So like shout out to Sway Archer, not only busy with the gear, but busy being a good friend and coordinating, uh, getting into events. <laughs> yeah. And uh, while we're on the topic, actually, uh, next week uh, on this show, it will be myself. It mm-hmm. will be Righteous Reg. It will be, be here, too. It will be Sway Archer yep. uh, and Jackson Roy and Mikey yep. Truth and mm. D. Smith. Uh, all mm. four members of Dynasty are going to be hanging out here with us next week. So it's going to be a, uh, a lot of camera frames on the screen, a lot of people to talk to. Uh, <laughs> Mikey Truth, shout out to Mikey Truth, going to be very exciting. Like the brother, like consistently is in contact with me on Instagram. So this should be good to finally do a pod together. I'm excited about this. He is one of my favorite people to see at shows. I love yeah. Mikey. Seems um, like a really good dude. I'm excited uh, about this. This is going to be really dope, man. I think uh, uh, I still I do want to get into it. It was WrestleMania weekend, mm-hmm. and uh, um, I the first when this thing was. Pop like the first collective I went to like that weekend. I probably went to like legit like ten wrestling shows like back to back to Jesus. back to back to back. This year I went to total three wrestling shows, three. Okay, and for a reason, it's uh, there's a bunch of reasons I think. Um, I will start off by saying I am spoiled, like watching, being able to cross the bridge and watch what West Coast Pro, like, I'm not like, I have to see every wrestling show ever now. Um, uh, two, uh, it just doesn't feel like it used to. That's it. Just don't feel like it used to. I could really get into it, but I, you know, we have some guests. (laughs) We do have some guests. Uh, Give me one second, because I got to, where do I turn the overlay off? Okay, there's where I turn the overlay off. And here's where I bring in our guests. And here's where I make sure you can see them properly. So uh, we do. So, uh, you know, perfect week to do this, because we have two Philly boys here the week after Mania just tore through Philly. have both the psychedelic psychonaut, the real skater boy Christian Robinson, uh, the the fighter tainment uh, tournament of breath weapons master and uh, unsanctioned pro heavyweight champion, uh, the young bruiser Charlie uh, Charlie Tiger, who is also fun fact my first ever pro wrestling interview. Uh, yes, on- back full circle, like, way back, way way back. Uh, Man, and- I'm I'm sad because this WrestleMania weekend. I didn't get to capture my boy Christian doing a skate trick somewhere randomly. Like, where was I? I think that was in Texas. I got to watch you bust one out. I'm very upset that I didn't get to watch you shred this time, my brother. Dude, it was a up and down mania week for me because uh, he's shaking his head because he knows I was at FDR skate park. I was about to wrestle at New Fear City, and uh, they asked me, they're like, hey, can you get some B roll since you're a real skater boy? This shit. Mm-hmm. You know, we're in your hometown, your home park. Like, let's let's see what's popping. So I'm doing my thing and my buddy's skating with me. And we're trying to get a trick back to back. And I'm I'm laying in my trick and he messes up a couple times and I keep trying. And then on the last try, I twisted my ankle. Uh, and I had to I missed three matches. 
Oh three, no! Three, or two, or two. I had three, but you had three. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> well, I, I'm, I'm sad to hear that. I'm kind of glad you brought it up though, because like I was, I've, I've meant to ask, uh, obviously, and I wanted to wait till I had you on the show because it was just easier. Um, but you know, skating, obviously, that's a pretty injury prone activity. Pro wrestling, pretty injury prone activity. <laughs> you somehow, yeah. you somehow have decided to do both why and how and like how often do either one fuck with the other for you uh is this the first time this is honestly the first time where i wow. skateboarded and then couldn't do my job mm. you know and uh because a lot of people have brought that up before i remember when i first started training ccw uh dj Hyde, he was <laughs> like you can't really skateboard or anything like that that's gonna like jeopardize you of like you being you but eventually when when people found out that i'm actually gnarly and i'm not pretending to be some like dude you know i i, I started incorporating it into my uh my whole brand so it has always been a part of me even if i do stop skating for a couple months you know but um yeah this is the first time it's really interfered with the wrestling like even right now like if i had to wrestle i wouldn't be okay but i but i i know what i'm doing now for up until 10 days because we have unsanctioned 420 and you know i'm icing i'm rehabbing i know what i gotta do to to get to where i gotta be but um it's no joke out here man like you know real life every day every day Every you day, you could twist your ankle walking around the corner. You never know. Man. Yeah, and that's why, real, bro. It's true. Why that I used to be a daredevil or carefree, whatever you want to call it. I I don't know. I, like as a kid, right? I imagined what everything I wanted to to be was. Like I, I had three dreams: either a rock star, a pro skater, or a pro wrestler. And yeah. even though I'm not a pro skateboarder at all, uh, I'm still getting to kind of live out that skate dream through wrestling a little bit, you know? And, like, it's – it'll always be a part of my identity. Yeah, like say, I guess, like – Yeah, right? I did get – I was sponsored by Terror Planet X. So, hey. you know, I, I I was technically an accomplished skateboarder, if you want to, you know, say that in a way. But I'm also not pretty bad. I, I think out of every skateboarding wrestler, I would come out on top of uh, – on a game of skate. Hell, yeah. Let's go. Like, that's not even me talking and promoing. I think people know. So. All right. Well, the other thing, too, is like, yeah, traveling for wrestling kind of does unlock your ability to uh, check out some spots and parks that normally you wouldn't be able to get to if you were, you know, just doing some, you know, nine to five job or something around town. Yeah. <laughs> I've, uh, I think the coolest skate parks that I have hit up because of wrestling have been there's this, I think it's called Campus Skate Park. Or maybe it's not called campus, but in Ohio, uh, there's a skate park right on campus by Ohio State. And it is probably top two skate parks I've ever been to in my life. And, like, the perception of Ohio, if you're not in the Midwest or just, like, if you've never been there, is, like, uh, you wouldn't think that they'd have, like, dope skate parks or skate spots, but they do. Mm-hmm. Ohio is, like, a really big cornfield with, like, cool stuff hidden in it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I don't know, it's not full of corn. It's just like yeah, like, this way it's just you know, it's like there's just nothing <laughs> everywhere. And then it's like, but if you know where to go, I was like, oh yeah, you could buy a lot of cool stuff. It's also the skate park in Louisville, Kentucky. Kentucky, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> we're, we're we're drinking, you know, doing other, you know, talking, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. so as the homie Mike said, both of y'all boys are in Philly. How did it feel to? Uh, have the big show kind of close to home. I know usually um, in situations like this, when WrestleMania week comes to some place that's kind of close to where you are, like a home base, you kind of feel a, you could feel a type of way if you're not booked or if you're not in these situations. So how did it feel kind of, uh, we'll start with you, Charlie, like kind of being in the midst of it and actually getting some bookings this time and being able to experience being yeah. Yeah, like you said, a lot of times you, know, you got to pay your own way if you want to get out to WrestleMania weekend and get those opportunities. Right. And you know, if if you pay your own way and it doesn't work out the way you wanted it to, you know, you might feel a type of certain type of way. But I feel like it's all about sowing them seeds, you know, because you never know what you do this year could result in seven years down the road. And uh, that's why I always think it's important to get out as much as you can. 
But, I mean, having WrestleMania in Philly, I think it was just a blessing because it was just mad easy, you know. I mean, I didn't have to leave my house pretty much. All. That was pretty much the hardest part is leaving my house because it's just so comfy here, you know. But mm-hmm. but it was great to have all these shows in town. Just the, the hardest part is just, you know, the traffic. At least it's not as bad as New York or L.A. But uh, <laughs> So, you know, you go around to different shows in a day and not have too many issues. And it was great to have, you know, like four matches last week. It wasn't too many, you know, compared to a guy like Mike Bailey. But uh, it, was, it, was, it was a lot of people were like, oh, yeah. wow, four matches. That's pretty cool. You know? Can't like, compare to a guy like Mike Bailey. That's oh, the first yeah. thing. You yeah. can't do that. <laughs> no, every, uh, every time. Never, never fails. <laughs> yeah. So you know, I'm just blessed to have what I have. And I feel like to have WrestleMania in town, like I ended up, I was kind of like the eclipse. You know, it's not going to be in town for a long time. So right. I take advantage while it's here. Just like yeah. love it while we're experiencing it. Hell yeah. Absolutely. It felt, uh, it, it felt fitting, though, because Philly is just such a wrestling place. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But it's hard to run wrestling shows, unfortunately. But also, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we love a commission. It's almost like the, there's a little bit of resurgence, though, because I see a couple of smaller shows, you know, doing stuff. It's, and I've, they got the little big guys coming in town. Dude, how many times do people ask you, when can I come see you in Philly? And, like, there's never uh, – in the past two years, there's been some wrestling happening in Philadelphia, but before that, mm. really nothing down here. Besides like Ring of Honor, Honor you know, you know, uh, GCW. Besides sometimes. like when the big shows would come and run the 2300 yeah, or whatever, it's really when it's it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's true. You know, you, you uh, something I, I kind of mentioned it off the top of the show, but I wanted to ask you about because it it's just like it looked like it was a ton of fun, but uh, it, what, Run it, or you know, uh, helping run stuff at Tournament of Breath. How you know? How was that whole day? Because that, <laughs> as far as the week goes, like, um, I know, like, you're kind of a any time that fight entertainments uh, at, at you know at the, at the brewery, you're, you're there. But uh, you're you know, it's such a fun atmosphere and a different presentation for wrestling compared to everything. That yeah. like when I look at the week as a whole of like all the shit i watched i'm like that was the first night of the week and that still stands out as some of the most fun i had as a oh, fan yeah. watching awesome so, what was that uh, yeah it's a whole vibe i mean it was a great way to start wrestlemania week you know just to to rant it out with something a whole crazy new type of entertainment experience i mean mm-hmm. mike bailey that's his show he threw the responsibility of uh, setting whole, the whole tournament up on me last minute as i was going up the show he was like oh um, you're going to coordinate the weapons. I mean, he knew I'm the weapons guy, you know, because I pulled up with the blade, you know, I was scared him a little bit, but, you know, he knows I know what I'm doing. But so he had all the inflatables and he didn't, he didn't know what he was doing, doing a deathmatch tournament, if I'm being honest. Right. You know? But uh, I've, I've been around enough for that deathmatch wrestling. To th- I think, like, I don't really know what I'm doing there, but like, I know weapons. So I, mm-hmm. I, I, made, up, I made up the stipulations, you know, I, I made the brackets and whatnot. And, I think it worked out pretty cool. I think it made sense, right? You know, we had. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I walked. I didn't know what I was walking into. I just walked in, saw <laughs> what we had in the arsenal, and I just lined it up the way I thought it made sense. You know. Oh uh, no, that was a good. That was a good time. I, 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 I'm. It was really impressive the way you adapted your experience with deathmatch wrestling to uh, life match fight entertainment. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah! Yeah, like, they went hand in hand. Yeah, love that. Um. But like, look, a lot of crazy shit happened last week. But something's coming up in a couple weeks, or like eh, week and a half, whatever. Split the difference. Uh, we're here to talk about it too. UP four twenty unsanctioned. Yes, sir. Yeah, look at that. that card. Look at that card, dude. Sick card right, right here. here. Look at these start. Look at these future WrestleMania contenders, like, contenders right here. Dude. That's an insane card right there, my brothers. Like. How does it feel to just like you? We kind of talked about a resurgence in Philly wrestling, but it feels like another kind of resurgence of independent wrestling as a whole. Of, of like, my favorite thing is it feels like territorial. There's great things happen mm-hmm. in yeah, different sure. places. How does it kind of feel to be a part of this new resurgence of wrestling and be from Philadelphia too? Uh, I think it's, I mean, it's obviously good for, for all wrestling, whether it's popping. You know, we would like for the competition to be there. So whether you like it or not, like you're going to be competing against some dogs and it's only going to be. That's what better. I love. Yes. But mm-hmm. I think uh, one of the most important things that I'm learning kind of just this year and like it's if you always hear this. Right. But like you can't outwork the hustle. 
right? Oh, yeah. It's like, uh, like sometimes people hate going places and doing things and, and you know, paying the dues and doing what they got to do. But like, uh, yeah. you, it's not going to happen on your couch or in your bed, you know? And uh, I think that is honestly the most, you know, it's like, I, it hits people at different times, of course, just with life circumstances and just like, you know, with whatever you got going on. But, mm -hmm. you know, I think that is like the main thing that I'm seeing is just so many young, hungry, hungry kids, you know, that are hungry and like a different. Because when I was like, you know, 18 or 19, like, uh, you know, I just had so much going on. And like, even though I was around and doing my doing what I had to do, I wasn't thinking in terms of like, how a real athlete should be thinking or someone right. that's like, you know. Great to have so many places to, you know, possibly make opportunity for yourself at, you know, just you can go anywhere in the country and there's probably going to be a wrestling show, you know? Seriously. Mm -hmm. Yep. So uh, we got a couple, we definitely got some unsanctioned fans in the chat. Mm -hmm. Brian Collar, we throw it down in the 614. Uh, I know Brian. What's shout, up, dude? Shout out to Columbus, <laughs> Ohio. <laughs> dude. Best wrestling in Columbus. Fight me on that. Okay. Columbus, hey. they speaking oh. up. I don't know. Look at that card, though. I mean, like, oh, they're, they're that's making that's some Columbus points with this card. Right. This card yeah. is insane. Christian got a Damn. good match. I just saw the homie uh, Jeffrey John this weekend, too. Shout out to homie Jeffrey you know John. I, and like, if this match was a year ago, I would have had some crazy things to say about Jeffrey John. You know, <laughs> but me and Jeffrey John, I, you know, like as different as we are, we are the same. You know, right? Like we're two of the most cared about people at unsanctioned. Like I know we, I consider myself a pillar. I know Charlie mm -hmm. definitely is a pillar. I mean, I'm the champ. He's a champ. Mom, he, before I'm the, the champ, bro. If you were a pillar, I'm the press <laughs> on tour. Ever the pillars are surrounding me, dude. For real. Nah, Charlie's spitting. You, you heard him. You heard he's him. Spitting. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's the whole damn <laughs> the whole damn uh fucking. I don't even know what this shit's called. But. Charlie said, that's y'all over there. I'm up here. He said, y'all. Y'all can keep the pillars, so I got the gold. <laughs> you see, don't worry. I'll, you know, I was, I've been on my Daniel Bryan shit here. So, yes. These people haven't forgotten, you know, the summer of the, the summer of the Psychonaut 2022. Let's but, go. <laughs> I, I, I would say I'm going to try to take the belt off him, but the last two times I wrestled, tried, him, I lost. And though. it's because, it's because I'm in the best shape of my life, and I look – I'm a little slimmer, okay? Mm -hmm. Even though I look better, I'm a little lighter. So I might not have as much force. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. But I'm still also yeah. better. Did we lose to yo at the last show? You can't stop trying, though, Christian. I don't Bro, why is – this is supposed to be my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, to be real, man. You, you know I mean? Hey, hey, you got to wrestle. Because wants you, probably want you to challenge him, right? You, it's you like, yo, I want to see you in there. You gotta wrestle yeah, Yo Yo at the next show, Charlie. I'm wrestling Yo Yo. Yeah, he's got, Yo Yo's got some yeah. momentum. I, I better watch out. Yo Yo yeah. can roll me up out of nowhere, but hey, I got. I mean, it seems like when people anymore. beat me, they get a world title shot. So that's gotta mean something. Hey, fair enough. Fair enough. Got, they're using you as a stepping stone, Chris. I don't know if you want to be into. Damn, that. Damn, no, that's you're right. Damn, Damn you're right. None of that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? On second thought, you know what? Yo, how did I how did I beat you for a title shot too? That's crazy. Wow! Wow! All right. See what they're doing. See what, see what's happening to me. I didn't put me up against all the best guys. You're like you're you're like technically one of the goats here. So you got to go against the best competition. And That's sometimes true. you don't come out on top. But you know what? No, look, you don't want to become not about that. I don't care about I don't care about them. I don't care about the haters. Okay, I never cared about the haters. You know what? I've been down before. The haters make me stronger. Yeah, I don't care about that. Is them. true. That, what, what kind of strategy do you got for uh, Yo Yo out there, uh, though, Charlie? Me? Yeah, yeah, he, he's probably not. Oh my him. god, you know how long I've been waiting to wrestle Yo Yo? Oh my god, he barely beat me. The only reason he won is because I can do whatever I want to Yo Yo, dude. I'm gonna throw mm. him across the ring a couple times, I'm gonna pancake him. Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna smash him on his face, probably bash him in the back of his head. I'm gonna pummel this dude, and he's gonna be lucky if he can get any offense on by the by five minutes in the match. I guarantee you. Wow. All right, mm. Charlie Tiger. We're in a bar. We're gonna have people Charlie. going crazy around the ring. You're gonna have a yeah. wild tiger feeding off all that energy, eating what? Yo, yeah. I'm gonna be hungry after I'm done. 
Charlie Tiger's bringing the squash match back. All right. Straight up on the indies. You don't see a lot of them on the indies. But Charlie's not going to give it up. You know, that is, you really mm -hmm. don't see a lot of squash matches on the indies, though. No. No. Yeah. Doesn't they make got sense. a lot of good competition out here. I'll tell you what. Yeah. yeah. That. And I also think it would be hard. You know, it, it probably hard to pitch a squash match to a lot of people. Yeah, right? Like, hey, I flew you out. You're over here. You're doing all this. Did you want to be cool in a match? Uh, Are you cool with losing in like three minutes, four minutes, not getting much in? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess when you got a big ass dude that like could be a demon or like empowered by some something supernatural, and like they obviously bench 405 and they're super huge. I mean, I don't know. I guess some people don't know how to fight and they look at a guy like that and they want to back out. But I mean. Damn, that's true. That's true. This show, the Sun Sanctuary Pro, is one of many uh, 420 shows this year. It uh, seems like the theme is being written very hard this year, and I'm very excited about it myself. Um, how, I, I didn't want to say every wrestler I know partakes, but it, does every wrestler I know partake? Well, I think wrestling is an industry in which uh, medicine, such as cannabis, is very useful. So yeah. mm -hmm. I, I know for my whole life, you know, from my parents on, like cannabis has always been a, a a thing that I've always been, you know, familiar with. And yeah. I know people look at me and they're like, Yeah, that guy definitely, you know. But yeah, I think as an athlete, and especially with a bunch of, you know, a bunch of things going around in terms of like things you shouldn't do. I think mm -hmm. weed is one of the things that you know is starting to be, you know, looked at as like not as a business, but it's starting to take as a business too. But it's starting to be yeah. taken serious as like if you were, you know, like they don't test for it in WWE anymore. Mm -hmm. um, NBA they don't test for it, and you know that's a, oh, know that. a great thing. <laughs> it's, it's a great thing. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, it's no surprise, you know, you, you, you see a lot, uh, a, a lot more, uh, uh, you know, uh, healthier habits in, in yeah. wrestling now than, you know. To the chagrin probably. of The Undertaker. The Undertaker's like, these kids these days do not know how to get down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. The roll up, Taker. <laughs> roll up, Taker. <laughs> yeah, that's one of our inside jokes. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. It, 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 it's funny. Like any WWE documentary, Undertaker looks like he needs someone to roll him a blunt. I'm sure Undertaker, right. Undertaker loves Undertaker's looking and he sees, sees Roman Reigns rolling a fat tribal wood. He's like, <laughs> you know, he's like, you know, I, you know, I used to be that fucking guy at one point. Right? <laughs> Roman's like, chill out, old man. You can hit my blunt. Just you can hit the tribal, you can tribal chief with me. Just, just get the fuck back. Undertaker's like, I used to be in the guy around here. Huh? No, I want a couple of WrestleManias like 21 in a row, 22. You know, hey, back in my day, we would have taken you to Wrestlers Court for having that here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't take me to Wrestlers Court, please. Um, no, uh, it's <laughs> you, you actually no. It's funny, Chris. Uh, Christian telling the story about uh, his parents. So kind of it made it made me realize I had like one of those moments with uh, my I have a, my daughter's. Oh my, yeah, you're just telling my, me about this. My my daughter's just about to turn thirteen, and uh, my my wife came up the stairs the other day and uh, was talking to me, and she opened the bedroom door and was just standing in the doorway. And my daughter passes by in the hallway. And she's like, it stinks in there, Dad. It smells like <laughs> weed. Yeah, I know what weed is. <laughs> and I was, yeah. Uh, I, I had nothing to say. I was just like, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. You're, what can you're right. Say? It, it is. is you're right. It is. I, also, if it wasn't going to be my parents, it would have been around the same age anyway, too. Because like, I was going to the skate park by myself by 12, yeah. 13 years old. And like, man, you just you know how it gets down. Like, it's you know people people grow up fast. <laughs> All the skater uh, boys are drinking beers and smoking weed for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Since 2013, EST. <laughs> <laughs> how does it, uh, Christian? You know, one thing that I've really enjoyed with this whole thing is that you've been adding in the, that the the reason that you have the skating and the wrestling and you putting it all together with the videos and the visuals and all that what uh what made you kind of take this different routes and add this extra element to your character uh you know i like kind of like i said earlier skateboarding is such a big part of my life like uh mm -hmm. 
yeah, I have a rolled ankle right now, but I, I made sure to go try to skate around today, you know? Right. Um, like, but I don't feel have- sane unless mm-hmm. I'm riding around my board just listening to my music. And I don't have to be doing tricks or doing crazy stuff, but I just need to be out there just, mm-hmm. like, you know, just cruising. And I think what made me look to myself and think that I could do something, like, you know, has the opportunity to film a promo, like, to – to be able to stand out in that way was uh, my boy Ketchy at one point in 2020. Mm-hmm. He wanted to film a promo with me. And uh, it wasn't like the same thing that we did, that I'm doing now with like the VX camera, but mm-hmm. it was an HD camera and it was a w- wide angle lens and it was kind of the same vibe, but it was a little different. And I filmed one with him and that got really good reception. Um, mm-hmm. And then after a while, uh, I wasn't able to film with him anymore. Um, he got really busy. And my friend Gunner, who I know from this town, uh, so we live in a town right out of Philly, mm-hmm. uh, Lower Marion, where Kobe's from, actually. Mm-hmm. And we started an Instagram page um, to get skateboarding the community around here. Oh, uh, that's what's up. Yeah, so we actually got a skate park down here. Damn, and, that's cool. That's yeah. Wild. And uh I met this kid Gunner through kind of through that. Um I would have met him anyway because he's around, but mm-hmm. he had a VX, which is like with all those thrasher videos, all the historic skate right. videos from Philly, mm-hmm. from everywhere, you know, they were filmed mm-hmm. on VX, VX one thousands. Um and we made one. And I know the one I made for Unsanctioned uh, when I was going on that undefeated streak. I think mm-hmm. that was the one that kind of solidified it because it was uh, – I did ones before that, and they were good. But this is the first one where I kept it under a minute. I kind of was like, you know, feeling myself. You know, like I believed I, – I was the champion to, up, up until that point. Like I was, you know – right. I was crushing it. So I was like, You're Cody you know, Rose I'm before crazy. Sunday, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> Don't worry, we're getting back there. Uh, but I think the reception I got from that, just like mm-hmm. uh that let me know it was like that's that even if I drop off the face of the earth tomorrow, like you know, no one will be able to replicate that. And if they do, yeah. I did it first. You know, they're going to be bike. And I yeah. think uh, even with Darby Allen being a skater and uh, and you can kind of see that my skateboarding is different. Mm-hmm. Right. But like my whole persona and my whole my whole thing is just different. Like no one ever. Way different. No one ever compares you to Darby Allen, which is like, I'm right. You know, which is why I'm happy. And like uh, he's able to do his thing how he wants to, you know, jump mm-hmm. off buildings and whatever. Well, it's, you know. right? it's like. Just like there's different styles of wrestling, it's different styles of skating too. Like, yeah, there could be different skater guys in the in the business. Of course, and there are. There are like my boy Brandon Potts, mm-hmm. uh, BSJ. B, yeah, I this mm-hmm. dude. Uh, <laughs> I saw him at the Suplex Block Party, and he had a Catch Point shirt on, and he was grilling me because he's from Philly, and I forget his name, <laughs> but I definitely seen him around. Definitely seen him around for my. You know, I was skating Philly 12, 13 years. Uh, like, he was grilling me, like, you weren't Love Park, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, like, like on my case, like, I'm like, bro. It sounds like we need person. to do an IWTV exclusive wrestler skate off. First of all, I have the footage. Oh. Second, I was, like, 12 years old, like, literally 13 years old, you know. And I didn't know the dude's name. I, I forget it now. But hopefully if you're watching this one day, because he could be, he's definitely really good, like I could tell. He had the ripped <laughs> shoes. I love this. We're gonna have wrestlers sk- the wrestlers skate off, and then we're gonna have all the wrestling rappers rap off. It's gonna be a great day. Oh, can I get in that? Yeah, yeah if you want, totally. You spit. That's that that that. that, that you already spit. I'm better at pre writes though. We get, well, we both kind of spit. I'm better we, at pre writes. That's absolutely something that needs to happen one day. It's just an indeed wrestling day. Yeah, we did that a Drake also AI has, last week. That also fun. has some skateboarding and some mm-hmm. hip hop and some hardcore. Mm-hmm. Definitely got to have hardcore. I I need that. Yeah, that mm-hmm. that sounds like a great day. 
Oh yeah. I'm in. Yeah. Look at Dano. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> no. 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 We're starting to go fund me. Give you a four. We'll maybe start to go fund me, and we're we'll only gonna, <laughs> we're gonna start to go fund me, and we're only gonna do it if we hit the goal because we're not booking a wrestling show if we don't have the money to pay for it. What? That's the, <laughs> life says you can do that. I've seen it a bunch. Fuck of no, times. I've seen it no. so many times. Look, I'll take the I'll take the go fund me to fundraise it, but if we if it doesn't hit the goal, oh, yes. if it doesn't hit the goal, we don't do the thing. Because exactly. now you still you run the show. I advertise it. I have to pay the wrestlers. They what did they do? <laughs> no, 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 no. These promoters no. are insane, man. No. People really think like that too. Like, oh, I got thirteen dollars. Yeah. Guess I'll run this show. It's like, yeah, uh, well, yeah. About... I'll take, yeah, I'll take out a five thousand dollar bank loan and run a twenty thousand dollar wrestling show. That, that that that's what everyone. That's what all the other promoters do. <laughs> Keep your monies, bros. The, Keep your the, money. The, the, no, see. The, and that you know, and and that that's if anyone's wondering why you only saw that local promotion one or two times, that's probably what happened. Or maybe not even local. Um, like you everyone, guys, I want to talk about that. Uh... <laughs> everyone, everyone knows one promotion that was like that. Come on, some of them are bigger than you even knew. I want to talk about goals in twenty twenty four because we got through this weekend. This weekend was kind of frustrating for me because it got a lot of wrestlers, a lot of wrestlers that I think are amazing were down on themselves because they weren't booked and it's like again we talked about it coming into this weekend don't let this spot don't let this weekend define you don't yeah. let wrestlemania weekend be the only thing that holds you up because you need to be killing it every other month and there's other important dates and you could still come up without mm, this real. weekend um it's so what are y'all goals coming into 2024 we're still pretty early into the year charlie's champ so i mean he Damn. you know He's up there. He's up at the top already. What's what y'all got going on for the rest of the year? I think uh for me, I'm uh I'll start with unsanctioned since we're kind of unsanctioned heavy. I'm gonna let yep. my boy get his reign in, you know. Like I said earlier, it's been it's and I'm gonna let you, you cook. Let me. You won't have to let me. Don't worry. He wouldn't he said, I'm gonna he, let he's you cook. He said so he's not losing regardless. It's all it's all good. Um <laughs> I think I wanna I wanna win the hardcore title, I wanna win the tag team titles, I wanna do something. Okay. I wanna I I I feel like I've let the people at unsanctioned down just a tad bit with, uh, mm. you know, even though like they know they look at me, they're like, how can he not end up being one of the best wrestlers in the world one day with all the talent in the ring, all the promos, like you said, like it, it, it speaks for itself, not to it does. shoot my own horn. Uh, mm -hmm. So I got to do something to, to validate those people to make them, not stupid because they look like fools supporting me if I'm out here and I'm losing. You know, I for honestly forgot that I lost to Yo Yo. Run that footage back when he says that. <laughs> I looked like no, I beat him. Wait, oh wait, no, I did lose. I was beating his ass the whole match, and then he did one of his little fucking cruiserweight little fucking. Woo, 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 that's woo, what you got to watch out for, Charlie. Like, that's that's what you gotta like, watch you know, out for. So I'm a good sprawler. I'm a great sprawler. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So at. I don't sanction. I just want those people to, you know, have something for me to be proud of. Like, you know, uh, everywhere else, you know, I'm the AWA Cruiserweight champion right now. Yeah, so man. I, mm, I, I did, go. I did, I do have gold, you know, uh, I am mm -hmm. a Cruiserweight champion. And we're talking about the territories. Like, I feel awesome that, like, you know, we're two 6'10 boys. Oh, yeah. He's got a championship in Ohio. I got a championship in Maryland. Yeah, He's probably going to have a championship soon in Maryland. I'm, I'm definitely so. about to have a championship soon in Ohio. Whether, Facts. you know, I'm, you know what, Derek, man, you're watching this. I don't, I, you know, tag Tony Steele who, said tag chance with who, though? It doesn't hey, matter. Hey, hey, peep the name, dog. Keep the name, Young Dumb and Smoke. Baby. Young Dumb and Smoke. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Double, oh, double trying to get some more gold. I see what's going on. Charlie now. wants yeah. one on each shoulder. Hey, you, already know, you already know what I got the recipes for tag wrestling. Oh, bro. Come on. Come on, cool, man. I've been learning a lot about tag wrestling. I mean, I've I've been friends with – we went to the same high school, and we, we, were, we became friends after high school, or at least after mm -hmm. I graduated and I started training. Uh, and I knew – a little bit about tag wrestling, just being friends with them. But the little times that we did tag together, you know, you're going to learn just being out there what it's about. Yeah. And I think cohesively, like we were the ones, we're the ones out of the five of us, they call us dumb. 
You know, they they think, you know, we laugh at them because, like, what they're really saying is that we're entertaining and that they're, you know, sticklers and whatever. Fucking, we like to have fun over here. Oh, yeah. You know, he's already finished his drink, but I was curious for more voice. <laughs> you know, I wanted to keep it. <laughs> you know, we're the dumb ones out of the group, but hey, we're the ones with gold right now. Damn right. So, it's all I'll say. There we go. Um, but yeah, I think the goal is to just branch out, win more titles, and keep being the real skater boy of this shit. Hell yeah. What about Charlie? What about you, Charlie? All through my goals. I mean, hey. I'm hoping to cement myself as one of the most dominant unsanctioned champions there is, you know, and yeah. I'll do whatever it takes to keep my belt. I mean, I also, I want to up myself on the rosters and other promotions too. You know, I want to get up the power rankings. I'm going to try to get more number one contender shop opportunities, man. I want to wrestle the best wrestlers around the world, whoever I can make that happen, you know, in America. I want to branch out again. I haven't been, you know, down South a long time. I haven't been to Atlanta or Florida in a couple years, you know, I want to wrestle in new states. I want to do a lot of things I haven't done. You know, I've done a lot, but I haven't done nearly enough. So I'm going to keep grinding and stay hungry. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, you know, speaking of that, I met you in Montreal like a couple months ago. Oh, yeah. IWS, so. I debuted in Montreal this year, so I want to debut more cities. Yeah. Let's want to keep rolling. I, uh, oh, you know, yeah. I'd love to see you back here uh, around the Toronto area uh, where I'm actually from. Uh, yeah. So- so don't I want to see y'all boys in Cali. Oh yeah, we got to get out of Cali. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. This time I won't. This time I won't give you a a a, a clogged weed pen. Uh, that 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 <laughs> Come on, Mike. Mike. <laughs> hey, it's honestly the way those things are made now, dude. It's yeah, yeah it is. They're terrible. The glob is gonna happen. You're not. It's not just you. Yeah. It's not. No. Yeah. We go through the same thing up here. I, I felt so bad. I was like, hey, this is all I got. But, hey, yeah. Get you with a couple of pre-rolls on the other side. So, Still, sharing is caring. He shared. Sharing is caring. Shared. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. We're all about the 420 shows here. Oh, That's yeah. True. I'm going to get so fried. I'm going to smoke yo-yo. <laughs> hey. <laughs> and, uh, yo-yo, smoke man. I think y'all already know that. We're gonna so, uh, Christy, on the canvas. I smoked on Lexus pack, even though I didn't win. I still smoked on Lexus pack, you know. True, that's that's going into history books as one of the greatest indie promos ever. That's facts, you know. Someone, I think Derek told me that someone said that, and I was like, you know what? Hell yeah, <laughs> smoked on Myron pack. I didn't win, but again, we smoked on hey. him. We definitely smoked on him. Facts, hey, get, y'all got to run that one back. Definitely got to run it back. He's mm-hmm. killing it. I'm proud of that dude. Yeah, he's he's killing it right now. He's amazing. I love this. Look at the chat. I'm so ready for the 420 show. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's, gonna it's gonna be a really good show. This card is insane. You know, it's yeah. K. Rob Van Dam here. One mm-hmm. one one more one more peek at this before we uh, plug where plug where yeah. everyone can find y'all at. Look at you take that, turns reading the card, that, Charlie. I'm gonna pull up the ace of cups. Oh, yeah. Let's yeah, let's do that. You go ahead, run us through the card, guys. That's a fire ass card right, right here. I'll man. say the first one. We got John Wayne Murdoch versus Akira for the World Hardcore Championship. Mm. And then we got heavyweight championship. Darley <laughs> Tiger versus <laughs> Goya. And we got for the tag team championships, these men do not exist versus the Adi. Mm-hmm. And then we got Kevin Blackwood versus Desmond Cole. Mm-hmm. And then we've got Alex Colon versus Ron Bass Jr. Oh. Mm-hmm. Hold, up, hold up. And then second to last on here, we got Christian Robinson. The real skater boy of this <laughs> shit versus Jeffrey John. And then last but certainly not least, we've got Sam Beal. Actually, Sam Beal can be last because he beat me. You know what? I'm not even going to be a hater. You know what? You're the best man. You know what? I'll love to Sam Beal. I can't be a hater. we got Sam Beal versus <laughs> Rachel Armstrong. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
Anna says plus more. It also says kind of more. change because shit happens. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good person. You see, I didn't do all of this. All of these matches could change tomorrow because cards are. That's like, true. Mm, yeah. No refunds. And uh, no refunds, that. But either that, way, it, if someone gets replaced, it'll be an even better replacement, probably. You know, yeah. that's how this shit works. That's how this works. It's pretty wild. That's usually how it's been working on like a lot of shows lately. Right. It's like the the talent pool is just so stacked that it's like, oh, the replacement's not really like a replacement. It's just like mo- instead of this dope match, you get this other dope match. Right. Replacement feels like such a like not, you know, it feels like a downgrade, but it never feels that way a lot of the time now. Mm-hmm. What, a gr- what a great time to be a fan of all this shit. I love it. Yes. Everything. It's an uh, amazing, amazing time. That show is going to be on 420. That show is going to be on Triller Plus, which uh, it's pretty cheap. You should just subscribe. Like, so much dope wrestling on there. But uh, uh, in the meantime, where can everyone find you guys at? On Twitter slash X at Charlie Tiger underscore on Instagram at the Charlie Tiger underscore on Facebook. I got a Facebook page. It's, it's Charlie Tiger. But if you're going to look it up, you're probably gonna have to put two R's in Tiger. Uh, mm-hmm. I got a merch store at Big Cartel, CharlieTiger.BigCartel.com. I got a YouTube channel. I got some matches on there. You should yes. check it out. Got a sick vlog on there. Oh yeah, Jordan's YouTube channel. There's the Young Little Broke vlog. Got a lot of right. crazy content. Yeah, yeah. Speaking to the uh, mind of a madman, if you if you just so dare. I mean, yeah, yeah. Dare see what the real, what we really like. You know, <laughs> what we really be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh. You can find me on Twitter at Psychonaut610. That's Psychonaut610. Uh, on Instagram, tripping underscore balls, three L's. Um, Facebook, don't friend me on Facebook. <laughs> uh, YouTube, <laughs> YouTube, I should be tripping balls under there too. Uh, I've got some skate, some skate footage and some some wrestling matches. Yes. Uh, and that's it. I have a TikTok account. I I like I'm trying to get on there and use it, but they only mess with the skate clips when I post the iPhone stuff. So mm. if you care about any of that, you know, go on the TikTok. I'm tripping balls on there. Three, uh, four L's actually. <laughs> One, two, three, four. And <laughs> well, got them in my house, bro. Said so four L's on the TikTok. <laughs> they, they already have. They already have your data anyway. <laughs> Look at that! The phone buzzing right now. So they got you. <laughs> they got, they're reading you right now. They're like, "Got him." TikTok. <laughs> New message from the FBI. What's up, Trevor? Like, got you, Coach. <laughs> Amazing. Then we're talking symbols. Amazing. Thank you uh, so much for hopping on here, hanging out. Well, thank you guys for having us. Thank you for thank you for, thank you for rushing. Thank you for rushing home from work to uh, mm-hmm. to, to jump on here to hang out mm-hmm. with us. Appreciate uh, you. Very much appreciated. Um, before we get out of here, Reg, you know, uh, where can everyone find you at? Uh, uh you can find on? me every Wednesday. I'm here with Mike on Indeed. Later today, I'll be on with Denise, the AW Dynamite post show. Um, uh, Grab City every Saturday. I want to tell everybody to check out this Sunday. If you're in Los Angeles, Chris Hero is throwing an insane wrestling show. Chris Hero's pro wrestling tape going to be crazy the card announced is insane chris hero himself will be working if you're going to be around uh definitely check that out it's going to be really really fucking good hell yeah mm-hmm. uh, yeah i saw i just got to dress this because i saw tony Steele <laughs> say he was going to out drink us early <laughs> and i wanted to be professional and just you know keep it rolling through the interview but mm-hmm. i'll have you know you were not going to out drink us all right uh, <laughs> all right i have to let you know right now Okay, see so y'all. The challenge I'll has been set. Mm-hmm. There you, you go. There you go. You have to buy the drinks and find out, Tony. Um, <laughs> uh, myself, uh, I'll be here next week. Uh, we're hanging out with the Dynasty guys. Uh, outside of that, I don't know. I'll be around. I'm on Twitter. It's right there. Follow me. Uh, see you next week. Love you, everybody.